What is going on, guys? It is Tussle Mouse here, and I bring you a Wi-Fi battle. I just ended my stream a couple of minutes ago, and yep, it's time to upload a video to YouTube. And this is against Immortal Pants, who is a follower of mine. We had an OU battle the other day, and he has gotten increasingly better going up against me. And this was a real close battle, so that's why I am uploading it to this channel. It was a good game, although I did make a, a missed play or two, but... Other than that, yeah, great game. So here is the OU team that I have: Rotom, Plesky, Conkeldor, Heatran, Metagross, and Tokekiss. This is the Mega Metagross team I've been using for quite some time, and I will be shooting that out because next week or tomorrow rather, I will be debuting a new Mega on an OU team, which you guys will have the chance to vote for. The link to the voting will be in the description, and it would be really appreciate if you guys could participate in the voting. The voting will end in approximately 11 hours, 12 o'clock midnight, and yeah. My point is bringing Victini, Volcarona, Metagross, Excadrill, Superior, and Jirachi. And fairly high ground type weakness, well we both have a fairly noticeable ground type weakness. But yeah, let's see how this battle plays out. So it's gonna probably be Metagross versus Metagross both Mega, but we're gonna see. So here we go. I'm gonna lead off with Space Mama the Roaring Watch. My opponent is going to lead off with his Bikini. I was the main going for I just want to see if he switched into Excadrill or he had a you know a Timon or a Jolly Bikini, but yeah, I'm gonna go for a Bolt Switch and it does get a critical hit. I'm gonna switch out my Run Wash for a for my Blood Tear the Heat Trend, and he's gonna go for the U Turn. And this is actually a 35 turn battle, so U Turn on Heat Trend, and it does minimal damage, although Bikini later, we'll know, is banded, so yeah. Out comes Steven Stone, the Metagross, and I'm not sure what I was thinking here. I was thinking that maybe he would predict me to switch out. So for some reason I keep Heatron in, and that wasn't really smart on my part. So yeah, Heatron's gonna get bopped by an Earthquake. It sucks, but hey, what can you do? So Earthquake's definitely gonna Oko Blood Crater. Times four super effective and all. Good night, Blood Crater. I really don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was predicting him to predict me going to Road of Wash, and I didn't want to take his then headbutt. But I'm going to send out my own Metagross here. I'm going to go for a for the Mega Evolution. So now it's Mega Meta versus Mega Meta. Very early on in this battle. He's of course going to outspeed because speed doesn't activate right as Mega Ball. So he's going to go for Earthquake. It's going to do over 50%. I'm also going to go for an Earthquake. And let's see how much damage it does. Also over 50%. I wasn't wanting to risk losing the speed tie, so I'm going to withdraw Metagross and go into Space Mom of the Road. He does go for Earthquake, and misses. I'm glad I didn't risk the speed tie. He's going to withdraw Steven Stone, the Metagross, and he's going to go, going to go into Jirachi. So I go for the Volt Switch. Not quite sure if this Jirachi is scarfed or not. Sometimes they do scarf the Jirachis. So, yeah. Out comes Rage Quit the Cleft Key. But now he's left over. So, had I known it was left over, it would have said something completely different. And I'm going to switch Rage Quit the Cleft Key out and go into, I believe, Rotom. Because I don't want to get Thunder Wave. I know that Jirachi can carry his Thunder Wave. His Jirachi is actually going to go for Stealth Rock. So, Stealth, the stones are kind of circling my team. It sucks, but it is what it is. And yeah. I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump, it misses, Jirachi goes for a Wish. I went for Hydro Pump and Casey switched to the drill. I'm kinda glad, you know, it didn't go to Superior instead. So yeah, I'm gonna go for another Hydro Pump, try to get as much damage as possible. And base 100 defense, and Jirachi does go for the Iron Head, which is time for resisted by Space Mama. The Wish does heal Jirachi to full health. So I'm going to switch out Rotom Wash and Lock into Hydro Pump. And that is pretty much the risk of running a Scarf Rotom. 
So I'm gonna go into Klusky, which is gonna take some Stealth Rock damage, and he's gonna go for a Wish as well. And I was debating going for a Thunder Wave, but I also want to go into Foul Play and take some Switch into Excadrill. So yeah, he's gonna go for a Body Slam with his Jirachi. Doesn't do that much damage, and it doesn't paralyze my Klusky, fortunately, so I do go for the Foul Play, which is gonna uh, knock it down to. Like 40%, do 40% basically, but the wish is gonna completely nullify the damage. So I'm gonna go for a Thunder Wave this time, hoping that he doesn't go to extra drill, which he does not. So we know that Jirachi has Stealth Rock, Wish, Body Slam, and Iron Head. So I'm not really that threatened by Jirachi now. Now that I know it doesn't have Thunder Wave. I'm going to switch Rage Quick to Klesky out and go into, I believe, Space Mom with the Rogue and Wash. No, I'm going to console there. Because it doesn't have Zen Headbutt or Moon Blast, which is, you know, very fun of me. But anyway, he's going to go for a Body Slam, and this is going to paralyze console there, I believe. Pretty sure it does. No, it does not. He does go withdraw Jirachi and go into Victini, which is not going to like this knockoff from console there. I guess he was predicting a Drain Punch, but yeah. Knockoff is going to take out the Victini, which is good for me. So yeah, that's definitely a choice, man. And here comes Alder the Volcarona. And he's going to go for a Fiery Dance. And I'm going to go for a Knockoff. So Volcarona is going to get hurt very badly. It does get the Flame by, which is actually really good for me. Because... Hunkler loves to be burned when it has the gut stability, so yeah. Fairy Dance, I thought... I don't know, I guess I thought I could live this, but... I guess I'm not gonna live it, so... Hunkler has been taken down with this... Volcarona. So back out comes Mega Metagross, and I'm at... Volcarona's in the range where an Earthquake should take it out. I'm not gonna mess with Zen Head, but I don't wanna risk it missing, and... Don't wanna miss... Risk Flame Body activating. So, Volcarona is knocked out. In comes Iron Bull, the Excadrill. I know this thing is dark because he did reveal that early on in the battle in chat. This did not happen on stream, this actually happened off stream the other day, but we were talking in my chat. So, he did reveal that it was dark. Which is how I knew not to keep Mega Metagross in there. So, I'm gonna switch Togekiss in there. Dodges the Earthquake because Togekiss is part flying. He's going to withdraw his Excadrill and go into Steven Stone the, Me the Mega Metagross. I predicted that and I go for, I believe, Flamethrower. So yeah, Flamethrower. Either way, if he, you know, predicted me to switch out, this is where I hit Excadrill still. So Mega Metagross is down for the count. I would have went for Defog, but I want to take out whatever Steel type he brought So, out comes Jirachi. I do go for Flamethrower. I don't know why I don't go for Defog. Not real sure. However, Jirachi's gonna get the Body Slam, and that was my misplay. Not going for Defog that turn. So, Jirachi and Togekiss are both paralyzed, and they're both gonna get healed with their leftovers. Jirachi is pretty freaking bulky. So Jirachi is fully paralyzed, and I do get the defog off finally, which is really good for me. The stones disappear around Togekiss and team. Togekiss gets healed with leftovers. Yeah, this was a pretty intense battle. I'm gonna withdraw Salty at the Togekiss, because I want to use it for fodder to scout out Excadrill. So I'm gonna go right into my Rotom Wash. Jirachi does go for the Iron Head. It's kind of resisted by Rotom Wash, so it's obviously gonna have little to no effect. So I'm gonna go for the trick to trick Jirachi and walk into either Wish or whatever move it can get locked into. So Jirachi is locked into Wish. Thankfully it doesn't go for another Stealth Rock is great for me, and Rome Wash gets some passive healing with leftovers, so I find that to be really good for me. He's going to withdraw his Jirachi and go into Snorky Snort the Superior. 
as I go for Bolt Switch. Now here's my big misplay I made. I'm gonna go into, I believe, Mega Metagross. Thinking that maybe I could have beat it, or maybe at least Storm wouldn't KO it. Storky Stork does get healed by Jirachi's Wish, but Storky Stork, the superior, is going to take out Mega Metagross with Leaf Storm. Yeah. Life Orb, Leaf Storm, took out a resist, a Mega Metagross. So, to be fair, it was at pretty low health. So I'm going to go for a Life Screen to protect myself from any damage this superior can muster. Let's go for another Leaf Storm. And I want to be very careful. But what I do, I mean, I could go for a Thunder Wave, and that would be good if he doesn't switch into Extra Drill. So yeah, Clutch Key is going to get him with Leftovers. I mean, I actually go for the Thunder Wave this time on Superior. It's going to get paralyzed. And yeah, it's Superior's going to hit another Leaf Storm on Clutch Key. And at this point, I thought I was going to lose. I will not even lie about that. I thought I was going to lose. Uh, plus he's going to get healed with leftovers, and I want to say I get whatever damage I can on this superior with foul play, and though it's not really going to do too much, so, yeah. Hidden power is going to come my way, and this time, it's going to take out plus key. so it's either hidden power fire or hidden power ground, but it was revealed in the chat that it was in fact hidden power fire. So superior, is, you know, hanging in there, tough. So he's gonna get paralyzed, attacked, and so is Togekiss. So I'm hoping that maybe my life streak can prevent Togekiss from fainting. I know I said I would use it as fodder to scout out Excadrill's moves, but he goes for a Giga's right instead, probably predicting me to switch into Rotom in case I, you know, Decided to break the Hidden Power of Fire, but fortunately that was not the case, and Air Slash is going to finish off Superior. So down goes Superior. So Togekiss gets healed with the leftovers, and next out comes Iron Moldy Excadrill. Don't know what to do at this point because Excadrill could either go for Iron Head or Earthquake. I do, however, send out Space Bomb in case he does go for Iron Head. And does he go for an Iron Head? Yes, he does. So it's time for Resisted again. And Rotom has that, you know, passive recovery of leftovers on him. So we're good to go, apparently. He's going to withdraw his Iron Moldy Excadrill and go into Jirachi. Which is going to take a Hydro Pump to the face. And I'm just going to keep on Hydro Pumping at this point, I want to say. Hydro Pump again on Jirachi. And Jirachi is locked into Wish, so it can't really do anything else except support. And I'm going to go for another Hydro Pump, hoping and praying that it doesn't miss. And, well, yeah, it doesn't miss, so... Hydro Pump is going to finish off Jirachi, the wish was wasted. So I guess Jirachi was a stack play or something? Not really sure. But next up comes Excadrill. Iron Moldy Excadrill is now out. He's got the Mold Breaker going on, and he's not going to Earthquake because, well, I do have Togekiss left. So out comes Togekiss, just to scout out what he's going to do. And he does reveal that he's going to go for a Rock Slide. So now what it all comes down to is Excadrill versus Rotom Wash, pretty much. So as he gets the Flinch Hack, I'm pretty much a goner. So I have to pray that Rock Slide does A, miss, or B, not get a, a Flinch on me. So yeah, it does do over half with a crit. I do go for the Hydro Pump, and that does take out Excadrill because... Super effective staff. So, very good game, buddy. You played well in this battle, and honestly, I do wish I would have brought in Klefki instead of Metagross at first against uh, Superior, but 
it is what it is. So once again, I would like to thank you all for watching this battle, and I might have a Let's Play Pokemon White part up later tonight, I don't know. But in the meantime, have a great day everyone, and I'll see you guys next time.